What's going on guys? Logs here, hope you're for a great day. And in today's video, we're gonna be comparing COD Tracker versus Warzone stats to see which one's more reliable, which one you should be really using, and maybe which one you really shouldn't be using because it's pretty much just inaccurate. First things first, we gotta see how reliable both of them are. So we're gonna jump over to Warzone, see what my KD is, and see if it's accurate on both websites. So let's jump over. All right, so over here on Warzone, on my account, we're gonna go over to Barracks records and then warzone kills and you can see my kd ratio all the way at the bottom so i'm at the very bottom it says my kd is a 2.34 so we're going to jump over to warzone stats and cod tracker to see if that's actually tracking accurately so over here on cod tracker with my id and you can see here that 2.34 it is accurate so this one is tracking properly and if we go over to Warzone stats, you can see 2.34 KD. Both of them are tracking properly. And if you don't know on Warzone stats, you can actually switch between Caldera to show my Caldera KD, all time and then rebirth. So you have a lot more options with Warzone stats. You even have the records where you can look up, where you can look up all the records for Caldera, Battle Royale, Vanguard Royale, Resurgence, solo duo trio quads you can look up all these records and it's actually really cool another feature why warzone stats might be better is because if you go on your account uh it shows your personal records so shows me all my records 21st in the world for trio quads 24th in the world so it shows you all these world records that you actually made or broke now i want to get into how both of them compare games because one game on cod tracker is completely different than a game on warzone stats and i'll show you guys right here to compare the accuracy of both websites i'm gonna use this game right here as an example we actually won the game uh, i got 13 kills these are my teammates and it shows that i have a 1.02 kd for the lobby now if we go over to wars on stats look at the same game you're gonna see that it has a 0 0.94 so we're comparing a 1.02 to a 0 0.94 that's a big difference that's a lot of uh kd differential we're comparing to basically a nine uh to a one that's a huge jump so you might ask yourself why is cod tracker such higher kd ratings uh than warzone stats i mean a 0 0.94 versus a 1.02 same game why is it not tracking or why is it such a big differential so we're gonna look right here if you click on cod tracker it shows my team's KD, but look at this. Guys in second place, no one's KD is shown. And then if we go over to Warzone stats, it shows all of our KDs. Here we go. Same team, second place team, this, these four guys. Look at this. It shows all of their KDs. Why is it hidden on here, but it shows up on here? I don't know exactly why it's hidden or it doesn't track on COD Tracker, but as you can see, a lot of these guys' KDs aren't showing up on the website so what that does is it only averages the ones that do show up so you see all these ones missing i mean this is a really low kd but look at full team missing their kds so we're not going to average any of these it's just going to be a super super high kd for the lobby 1.02 where compared to warzone stats almost everyone's kd is showing look at this a lot of low kds this guy doesn't show his kd this guy doesn't show his KD, but everyone else, look at that. All their KDs are showing. Compared to COD Tracker, no KDs are showing. That is basically why Warzone Stats is a lot more accurate when you're comparing matches. So Warzone Stats got it right. Uh, that lobby was a very big bot lobby. I mean, not really because the, the average KD is a 0.94, um, but still compared to this game, uh, 1.02, it's a 1.02 just because the KDs are showing for only some of these other players. There's less people showing their KDs. I mean, some of these guys are bots, but there's less people showing their KDs. So let's compare another game. So this is a 0.64. I got 15 kills. As you can see, my teammates and everyone's KD is showing. Though a lot of bot teammates. This is a really cool thing that you don't find on COD Tracker, showing like the team KDs and giving them like a like a colored ranking, bronze, silver, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, there is. this is our team and it's showing everyone else's KD. This is a VPN lobby, so these guys are really bots. Um, but compare this KD lobby, which this was a 0.64, compared to COD Tracker, it has it listed as a 0.70. So a 0.7 versus a 0.64, 
That's a big difference. 0.64 versus 0.7. That's a big difference, especially if you're trying to prove to someone, I don't get bought lobbies. These are my lobbies. Well, if someone's showing you a COD tracker saying, I don't get bought lobbies, you might want to check it out for yourself because look at these teams. No one's, no one's KD is showing up. Like, look at this team. Fallen Angel. Let's go find them over on here. Fallen Angel. You wouldn't know this, but Fallen Angel has a 0.83 KD. Uh, you wouldn't know that for this team or for this team. This team's a 0.97 team KD. So you're missing a lot of KDs on COD Tracker, and it really makes me want to laugh when people are showing that I don't get bot lobbies, here we go, and they post their stats, and it's literally all one KDs, but then if you go over on freaking Warzone stats, they're getting like 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 KD lobbies, but on COD Tracker, it's showing one KD lobbies. So this is one of the reasons I brought it up because when people comparing stats, you can see Huskers, he dropped 57 kills for the world record, which is awesome. But then he commented by saying it was a 0.66 on COD Tracker. When in reality, it's not a 0.66 because if we go to records, go to player, Caldera, here he is, 57 kills. It's a 0.58 lobby. But he's claiming it's a 0.66 lobby according to COD Tracker, which is not wrong. According to COD Tracker, it is a 0.66 lobby. But 0.66 compared to 0.58, that's a big difference. A lot of people would say a 0.5 lobby is the absolute bodiest you can get. But 0.66, you know, that's just a good bot lobby. That's a face swag lobby, as you would say. But uh, no, a 0.58 is definitely a bot lobby. And this is why I think Warzone stats is way more accurate and the only one that you should be looking up stats for uh, compared to that in COD Tracker. Because as you can see, this is a pretty body lobby. I mean, I reacted to the whole video. I've watched the whole video. It's a pretty body game. But saying that it's a 0.66 lobby, um, that's that's a really bot lobby too, but COD Tracker is deceiving, and that's why I wanted to hit, let you guys know COD Tracker just shouldn't shouldn't be used when you're trying to prove to people that you're getting sweaty lobbies and stuff because realistically i mean these are bot lobbies because these are vpn lobbies but really i mean it's it's just it's just deceiving this is another good example right here it says i have a 0.82 lobby i got 24 kills in buyback duos 0.82 lobby but if we go to the same lobby on warzone stats 0.77 24 kills on buyback duos this is the same exact game except the only difference is people's KDs actually show up. You can see everyone's KD in the lobby. Uh, I don't think anyone, all right, one person isn't showing on Warzone stats, where if you go to freaking COD Tracker, look how many people just don't show up. We've already up to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A lot of players aren't showing up. So comparing the stats for the whole lobby, 0.82, that's way off. It's actually going to be closer to 8.77. Well, guys, that's going to be the video, man. I hope you guys learned a little bit more knowing that you cannot really rely on COD Tracker. If you see someone dropped an awesome gameplay and they're showing the COD Tracker, like, oh, look, it's a 1.2 lobby. I got sweaties. It's not bots. And then you look, go over to Warzone stats, pull up the same game right when they drop the video. You'll probably be able to find it. And lo and behold, it was a 0.8 lobby. So realistically, you shouldn't really trust some of these guys uh, who are posting these. You really should trust Warzone stats. Over yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more content like this, please leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.